Okay, uh, oh yeah, this is how you can put a custom background on a folder. Uh, like I had in that one video, it's because someone asked me how to do it. Okay, first I'm going to make a, you know, like uh, this folder. Okay, first I'm going to make a new folder and call it and call it, um, I'll just call it test1. Well, I'll go into that folder. Wait, let me open up my other thing really quick. And then I'll open up, uh, I just want to open, because that's the, this is the thing that's key to, like, the whole thing. So, you need to copy this code, or you could even type it out manually, I don't really care. Control C. It's, uh... It should be in the uh, video description, unless I forget to put it there, but I probably won't. Uh, oh yeah, then go and uh, make a new text document in your thing. I'll call it, uh, you don't need to call it anything yet, so let's open that, then uh, control V, paste the code, enter, enter, and then, uh, I need to look at this again, then you type, uh, oh yeah, icon, area underscore image equals and then you uh, go and you find the image that you want to use. I'll just use the same image that I had on that other thing which is this one so then I'll just click uh, right click on it go to properties then uh, copy this entire thing control C put a quotation mark control V close quotation marks then uh, hit the left arrow and go back then do that kind of slash because this is just showing the location it's not actually showing the main name and it's called sir is leet dot jpeg so so it should look like this then just uh, go ahead and go to file save as and then I'll save it as desk Top dot i n i desktop dot any, and then I just go down to here and click all files. I don't know if that does need. I don't care. Just save it as desktop dot any. So save, then exit out of all this stuff. Then you sh you should notice that there is a brand new uh, thing in there called desktop dot any. <coughs> just delete your delete your one that you made before. And then uh, I'll minimize this for now, and then I'll go to start, run, and then uh, this is already in here, just the last thing I ran, but uh, then you're going to want to type at trib plus s, a t t r i b space plus sign s, then the location of your folder, which you can put in really quickly by just clicking and dragging your folder into the text box, and it'll just it'll all fill out the whole thing. Then just uh, then just click OK. Then it should have showed like a command prompt thing come up really quick, and then go away. Then uh, I'll just close this. Then it's automatically refreshed. Then double click your folder, and it should have a new background. So uh, you did it. Uh, you can do this with any type of picture thing. Just make sure that you fill out the box correctly and put the correct address into the box and, and the right uh, code things, and it should work. So there's how you do it if you were wondering.